After a cozy night in the old tower, it's time to make a plan for today's route. So we're gonna retrace our steps along the side hill part and uh, work our way north, up and over, up to Mount Wham and the next lookout. Uh, if we make it in time, we can take the last gondola up. Just kidding. <laughs> this is so awesome up here. Love being on these high points where you just have 360 degree views all around. Wow, look at that. You wanna take the quick way down? Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Might as well stay up on the ridge. It's amazing looking back at where we were last night. That little hut up there, it just looks... Looks like it's photoshopped in. Yeah, who CGI'd that in? So, starting off with uh, the hardest part, actually, the side hilling on steep snow in snowshoes, which was, again, pretty tough. And uh, takes the takes the energy out of you pretty quick. Precarious. I've been a bit of a go this morning. Looking forward to being on, not necessarily flat ground, but where my ankles aren't rolling to the side. Killing my ankles and toes. I'm sure there's a nice flat uh, path below oh, us. Oh yeah, I'm sure. It's just <laughs> under six feet of snow. One of the realities of being in the mountains is sometimes you have to change your plan and deviate. So Chris and I have just been discussing and I think the time has come to alternate and deviate from our intended route. If we can make it at least as far as these lakes, okay. that puts us under the lookout and it gives us a couple of potential um, outs for tomorrow to get to yeah. a vehicle. You know, it's a little bit disappointing. I'd love to be able to go to another sweet peak with incredible overlook. But honestly, if it's not safe, then it doesn't make sense and we gotta reassess and make the right call. And then we had a nice little slide down some snow uh, to a flatter section of travel. Whoa! <laughs> Sliding in style. Was it stylish? It's very stylish. When the calories are a burning, it's hard to not start dreaming about food. I love a good post-adventure pizza. All right, so speaking of food choices and character. Okay. Pizza, pineapple, yay or nay? You know, if I'm like needing a cultural experience, then I'll be willing to do it. But otherwise, not in my house. Gotcha. Well, yourself? I like it, but I don't have to have it. A lot of well, black and white for folks on that. <laughs> well, you know what? We need people like yourself that can bring people back together. There you go. This flat downhill feels pretty good. <laughs> I will take this all day. Our intended route was a little too ambitious for the conditions. So it was satisfying to see the forest open up and a thawing lake welcome us to camp. Interesting nice. spot. Whew. Should we call this camp? Yeah. Chris, good job today. It's a long but good day. Yeah, I'm happy with this spot. One of the cool things about what Ride on Trek does is they can outfit you with their whole gear and it's actually top notch. So this is the MSR Hubba Hubba, two person tent. It's like a classic tent and it is one of the best on the market. And I've got a Brooks Mountaineering five degree sleeping bag. I think I'm gonna be warm and cozy tonight. So you might not know this about bears. They are incredibly terrified of snowmen. Me and Steve here. He's maybe not the most beautiful, aesthetically pleasing snowman ever, but he's got a good personality. That's what matters. If you are missing food, it's uh, Steve's fault. Steve. So something that's unique about what Ride on Trek does is they can provide your full meal outfit for the whole trip. Tell them how many days you're doing, food allergies or food preferences you might have, and then they'll construct the food plan for you. Cheers. Cheers. To adventure <laughs> and a good day. Not getting soaked in a thunderstorm. <laughs> That's for the win. Well, I had a fun night here, camping right on the lakeshore. And so the plan for today is really just an exit out of here. So we gotta hike through more of this snow-covered forest and uh, find our way down and out of this wilderness area. 
Think the time has come? Time has come. And a good morning here. Steve was a good uh, little neighbor here. Very he, welcoming. I think he warded off all the bears. I didn't hear any bears come through last night. And he didn't snore either. Well, he didn't snore. <laughs> My other neighbor was sawing logs all night long. I slept so well. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was awesome. Well, that's good. We've been working hard out here. See you, Steve. Bye, Steve. Enjoy the rest of your winter. The conditions change quickly as we hike downhill. And what started as a playful, easy exit suddenly gets a lot more complicated. So Any concerns we... that you're having with uh, our route down? Yeah, I'm just a little uh, curious to see how much water's flowing in Clarence Creek and whether it's going to be an adventurous creek crossing or just a doop de doo Yeah, I guess you could call it a surprise. I mean, we knew we had to cross the creek at some point. But the question was, which creek and where and how? What do you think? Uh, you think we should actually ford it and cross it or? I would definitely carry on and we got still a good half mile of traversing we can explore. Yeah, maybe we'll just happen to find a, a better, more suitable spot or maybe somebody built a bridge. <laughs> if we're lucky. If we're lucky. So we ended up kind of funneling down into uh, a bottleneck, so to speak, of, of uh, some cliffs. And uh, uh, fortunately, we had a creek crossing that was manageable um, with getting just a little bit wet. Doable, but it's a little bit more swift. Yeah, and if you slip there, you're gonna, you might go for a little drink. All right, here we go. There was no way around it. We've been trying to find a way across for a while. The only thing we could do is just take our snowshoes off, get right in that river, and go for it. So, unbuckled my straps in case I went for a swim. Feet are definitely wet and very cold, hoping that we don't have too much more before I can dry my feet off. That'll wake you up in the morning. Spicy crossing. Woo! Oh yeah. Let's know you're alive. And now it's Chris's turn. Not exactly expressing confidence in my technique, he tries something new. Oh, you're going snowshoes on. Yeah. There you go. Making it look easy. Yeah, that might give way. This is the hardest part right here. Let me know if you want a hand. Hell yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Thanks, man. Dude, good crossing. Yeah, I didn't get all that wet. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I got plenty wet. <laughs> oh, we have emerged. Gotta love a good creek crossing. God, that was that was kind of like the perfect way to top off that adventure. I'm feeling like pizza though. Let's make it happen. All right. All right. Pizza with pineapple. The thing that unites us all. What about anchovies? Oh no, I'll get those out of my house. <laughs> As if divinely inspired, the nearest pub just so happens to serve exactly what we're looking for. Spicy Hawaiian. Oh, what unites us all. Nice. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, Cheers, buddy. my friend. Cheers. What a good adventure. <laughs> With dry feet and pineapple pizza, all is right in the world again. Montana, this one's been fun. This adventure is done and dusted. 